focus to the top story that we are tracking very closely amid soaring AQI and the onset of winter season in the national capital. Delhi activates stage 4 of its emergency anti-pollution measures as the city's air quality has reached alarming levels. The emergency measures were announced yesterday evening as the AQI in the national capital hit 457 as per the evening timing. In such an air emergency, the CAQM has implemented a stringent eight-point action plan aimed at curbing the escalating pollution and protecting the public health. But the big question remains, how did we get here yet once again? There is no doubt that the national capital has earned enormous shame worldwide in failing to handle the growing pollution woes. But at the same time, band-aid measures including odd even scheme and others have been implemented. But what seems to have brought a change? Smoke from the burning of paddy reside in the Punjab and Haryana is historically a key contributor to the capital's worsening air quality index in the winter. Data points out that farm fires contribution into the national capital has dipped this year. If we believe the figures according to the center's decision support system, that's the DSS, farm fires have accounted for an average of 16.23% of Delhi's finer particulate matter, normally, normally called PM2.5, which is lower than last year's nearly 21%. The fact of the matter is that what's causing the air emergency at this point of time burning our lungs, if that's the case. Joining me to discuss about the potential contribution of the recent increase in the farm fire is a senior NASA research scientist, Hiren Jetwa, who has significantly studied and observed how the mapping and the tracing of the farm fires and the aerosols in it has in fact been neglected. I appreciate you joining me live on the broadcast, sir, and thank you for speaking to NewsX. What we have understood so far, Mr. Jaitwa, at this point of time, if we believe the data that, uh, you know, the farm fires this year have dipped, but at the same time, the resolution of the present crisis is nowhere in sight. So how do we decode this? And do we also have a solid point in understanding where we have missed the lead of understanding what's actually contributing the highest into the growing air pollution in the national capital. Yeah, uh, well, uh, you just mentioned that the fire, the, the fire activities uh, have deeped this year. That's not true, first of all. Yeah, part, it is partly true because we, we, we hear uh, uh, in US as well as there are several agencies in, in India that are tracking this, uh, this crop fires uh, using the NASA and NOAA satellites, which overpass the region at about 1.30 to 2 p.m. So, of course, there is a there is a deep there. Uh, we see much less number of fires during that time window when the when this this uh, satellites pass over the region. But the satellite, the other satellite data from uh, from Korea, the geostationary satellite, uh, it shows there are there are more and more fires are occurring during the late afternoon hours between 4 and 5, even 6 p.m. So what we see from this uh, uh, our standard satellite is just a one uh, small part of the, the whole day activities. So fires, if you look at the geostationary data, the, you can clearly see in the satellite images as well as in the data that the, the fires are more concentrated uh, during the late afternoon hours after the this NASA satellite has overpassed the region. So what we are seeing from the satellite data, uh, the, the NASA satellite data is just a, a, a partial picture, but not the not the totality of the fire activities. So mm. I don't believe that the fire activities have, have gone down this year. Mm. Uh, that doesn't look true to me. If we have to believe these uh, things, uh, one usually would think that what are what is the evidence that uh, we can make us believe and understand uh, that how the farmers are uh, time crop uh, time crop the burning of the stubble you know how actually they are uh, understanding the cycle where they can evade the nasa satellite so that it cannot be accounted for uh yeah that's a very good question even uh and I, 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 I post this question on my uh, X platform in, on one of, in one of my posts. I don't know exactly the, the, the correct answer why why farmers have uh, delayed the, the, the peak burning to the late afternoon hours. But 
it's, it's not a localized phenomena. If you look at the satellite images, it's, it's a statewide phenomenon. So everywhere in Punjab and some part of Haryana too, and I, I should also mention that, that there are fires on the other side of the border in, in the Punjab province of Pakistan. They are also contributing to the, the smoke loading or the particulate matter here over northern India. And all of them, at least over Punjab and Haryana, uh, mostly Punjab, uh, there is this uh, very coordinated, it looks like very coordinated effort to burn in the late afternoon hours. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure why they have uh, shifted this burning pattern to, to late afternoon, but the satellite data clearly shows that, 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 that the, the majority of fires are now uh, occurring uh, between 4 to 5 or even 6 p.m. And I also heard some uh, some news from some other sources that, that some farmers are burning the, the crop residue in the night time also. Uh, for all of this th thing, we, we need some ground through things, some ground surveys uh, uh, hmm. over those regions to confirm uh, what we are seeing from the satellite. Hmm. You have also posted a picture which in fact uh, gives us an idea uh, and I'll request you just get it on my screen at this point of time which says that time resolved progression of likelihood of active fires in Punjab which shows yes. exactly the kind of point that you are making that at the yes. same time in fact if we talk about 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. this is the kind of extent where we can see the red region marked significantly increasing uh, the yes. catching of the farm fires. And that's there, true. in fact, we that's how we can understand. But, uh, Mr. Hiren, how do we uh, make a make an understanding of this phenomenon? So, does this say that we are missing on tracking the actual figure of how we can uh, dictate and how we can understand the kind of farm fires have contributed into the national capital? Oh uh, yeah, if we rely, if we even my as I as I mentioned earlier, there. Are, agencies in India, uh, there are researchers like myself here in US, we all rely on the NASA and NOAA satellite. Uh, th th those are US satellites. Okay. Uh, and if we rely on those satellite data, uh, hmm. then, then, then no, we are not capturing the totality of the, of the fire activities. Uh, since actually, uh, since 2022, uh, we have seen this deep in the fires. Uh, 2022, 23, and now this year, the, the fires, again, fires uh, detected from the NASA satellites, they are, they are going significantly down, but the air pollution level is not going down. It has actually increased this year in last couple of weeks. And uh, those, uh, those measurements are also corroborated by the ground level PM 2.5 measurements. They are also going up in last, last one or more than, I would say, 10 days. Hmm. Uh, so, if you look at the totality of this picture, the air pollution measurements from ground, PM 2.5, from, from satellite, they are actually going up this year. And that cannot be explained by any other sources other than the, this, this big statewide uh, uh, crop burning in Punjab as well as the, uh, on the other side of the border in Pakistan too. Sir, are there any other states as well that we can look at which are also, uh, you know, being at this forefront of uh, missing out and especially which, which can be uh, completely evaded from this phenomenon where farm fires are being tracked in the real numbers apart from Punjab and Haryana? Uh, well, there are fires in, in Madhya Pradesh and there are some number of fires in Uttar Pradesh also. Uh, so. In, in MP, in Madhya Pradesh, we, we have seen some increase in the fires over the last few years and this year particularly. But those fires are not actually affecting the, the national capital region or even Uttar Pradesh because the wind direction is such that that, that the smoke uh, emitted from those fires are carried away over the, over the western part of India and uh, uh, over the Arabian Sea. And actually mm. from the satellite images, we have seen this smoke reaching all the way to the eastern Africa over the period of time, over a few days. So, uh, yes, there are fires in other states, uh, especially uh, in Madhya Pradesh, but those fires are actually not affecting the, the what we call the Indo-Gangetic Plain in the, in the mm. northern India. The okay. national capital region is mainly affected by the fires in Haryana and Punjab. And there are more fires in Punjab uh, almost every year. Uh, but in Haryana, we have seen some deep uh, in, the, in the fire activities, but, but there are still some fires 
uh, occurring over uh, in Haryana region, uh, which is sufficient still to cause uh, this pollution uh, spike in New Delhi. Hmm. So, uh, in totality, how can we get the entire uh, analysis and the study that, in fact, you have brought forward into the systems of the DSS, so that you know we don't have the two sides of one story. There's, there is only one story if at all uh, we have to make a point and to resolve a crisis what has been unfolding in the national capital of such a mass level which happens right. to take place every year. This is in fact the only way to get the facts, the figures and the data right. Right. So, uh, in order to get the, the totality of the picture uh, we need, okay, first of all from, from, from our perspective uh, we need a geostationary satellite sitting just over India and, and detecting these fires like every half an hour or every even hour, hourly uh, basis to really track from morning to evening and even night that there are how many total number of fires. We are not currently having those th that correct figure. What we are seeing from the polar orbiting satellite from NASA satellite just one one part of the picture. Uh, we have sufficient data. Uh, th th this story continues every year. Uh, and we have sufficient data from satellite, from ground, from models. Okay, we don't, I think, need any more evidence and proofs uh, to convince anyone that that the the major source during this time of the year, during post monsoon, is this open field biomass burning or open field crop burning, uh, which is affecting uh, almost like the entire Indian subcontinent, uh, and as well as two oceans, the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea, also. Uh, so we have enough data. We have enough evidence as we speak right now, the New Delhi PM 2.5 currently, as we speak now, it's it's more than 600 microgram per cubic meter, which is about 40 to 50 times uh, higher than the, the safe limit set by the WHO. Hmm. Okay, what we need now is some, some coordinated efforts between governments, uh, uh, agencies, NGOs, to really come to come to the same table and and solve this problem in some way is it's, it's a socio-economical and I would say political issue too. Uh, so it's, I think it's it's the will of uh, everyone to come to to the same table. Let let politic politics uh, be aside uh, and and try to solve this pro problem because right now uh, there are millions and millions of people living in the, one of the most uh, populated regions of uh, regions of the world. They are breathing this very, very uh, heavy, toxic air. Especially, think about the sensitive group, uh, like children and the you know people with uh, asthma, allergies, elderly group. They cannot sustain this kind of mm. pollution. Uh, even in the house, even sitting in the house, you are still breathing the same air. All right. So uh, I think it's. Uh, I don't know. I mean, every year uh, I put up my result on uh, my research on you know X platform. Twitter before uh, formerly, hmm. and I discuss uh, this issue with uh, the journalist uh, and hmm. also people within uh, our community, the research community. But there is no solution at sight right now. Uh, you know, now this, this since last two years, uh, it seems that since everyone was following the NASA satellite data and we saw the deep, even I was happy to see that that the fires are decreasing. But now, uh, now I understood that I was I hmm. was under delusion that that the fires are, fires are not going down. It might have increased this year. Looking at the, the, the overall pollution load for Northern India, it looks like it is either at the same level as the previous years uh, before 2021, or it might have increased this year. All right. So, yeah. Thank you so much for speaking to us and giving us your time and the breakthrough as far as the data and the studies is concerned. Mr. Irene Jetwa, thank you for speaking to NewsX. Now viewers, let's also get the real picture on the ground.